My name is Charlie McGrath. I'm the founder of WideAwakeNews.com and a host on the Rinse Radio Network. The power financial elite are going for broke, and they want to make us all literal debt slaves to them forever. They want the entire planet under their control. Now, does that sound grandiose, conspiratorial, far-fetched, and not possible? You better wake up and understand where we are and where we're headed. Ellen Brown wrote an excellent article I'll attach to this video. The title of it is Government by the Banks for the Banks, the uh, ESM Coup d'Etat in Europe. She's 100% right in this article, but it doesn't go far enough because it isn't just Europe. It's the United States. It isn't just the United States. It's the entire so-called free world that is involved in the central banking cabal, which is basically the entire planet. They are not going to stop until they have total and complete and utter control of everything. Every person, every asset, every resource, they're not going to stop until they have it all. In fact, they've become so, uh, the bravado has become to such a level, it's almost in our face that they're going to do it. It's almost in your face. I don't care. I don't care about representative government. I don't care about the people of fill in the blank. We will have total and utter control. We all remember this big rally that occurred on Friday. 250 points up on the Dow, 2%, 3% increase across the board on the indices. And it was all based on the 19th, and I'm going to underscore that again, 19th meeting inside of Europe to save the world from the European sovereign debt crisis. Optimism ensued. Uh, we had this monster rally. Well, over the weekend, some of the details came out. The details that caused all this hope and could still continue to uh, bring hope to the power elite of the world is Angela Merkel's capitulation to use the ESM fund for something other than what it was designed for. Now, we did a report on this ESM fund over a year ago when they first announced it. It was onerous then, but it got a whole whole bunch worse. See, the ESM is a lot like something that happened here in the United States. We call it TARP, Troubled Asset Relief Program. They call it European Stability Mechanism. The ESM originally was uh, set up in order to have this 700 billion euro, 700 billion, another number we're uh, acquainted with. The ESM was going to use this money to rescue sovereign governments of Europe that were affected by this debt crisis. The money was going to go to the government, or in essence, the representative uh, governments of Europe. But now something new happened in the latest round of meetings, the 19th meeting. Germany says, well, okay, I guess we'll let this money potentially be used to go directly to the banks. Not to the governments, but to the banks themselves to pay off the banks. Does this sound familiar? Do you remember gunslinger Hank Polson coming out saying we're going to have the the TARP program, Troubled Asset Relief. We're going to buy these troubled assets. We're going to buy it so people don't lose their homes. We're going to buy this debt so we can rescue our economy. Two days later, he comes out and he starts handing out money to who? The banks. See, the, the coup already occurred in this country. We work for the banks in this country right now. They write the laws that govern this land right now. So we have this democracy thing going on here with this election. And we're going to talk about gay sex and Anderson Cooper. And we're going to talk about left, right, garbage, blue team, red team. But the things that really matter, who we're going to murder and uh, whose name is going to be done in and our financial future, that's left to the power elite banksters, none of which who are in prison for imploding the world economy. They're literally quite the opposite of that. To the contrary, they're running the show. Now, the same thing is going to happen inside of Europe. It's a little more difficult there. 17 nations, 17 governments, you got to break them down. So we're going to break them down with sovereign debt crisis. We're going to implement the ESM. Now it isn't going to go to the governments anymore. It's going to go directly to the banks. And oh yeah, some of the articles in the ESM are beyond onerous. Article 8 sets it up at $700 billion. Article 10 takes care of that by saying the Board of Governors can adjust that amount as they see fit. Now Article 9, do we back up one to Article 9? It says if these nations say, sign on to this, they unconditionally pledge to pay on demand the amount set by the ESM governors. How convenient. $700 billion is going to turn into what? Well, in the United States, it turned into $15, $16 trillion conservative estimates. Some other estimates say that the backstopping and guarantees are closer to hundreds of trillions of dollars. And just in case there was any confusion, Article 32 basically spells out in the ESM, the Board of Governors, their staff, the directors, or their staff, Anybody involved in the ESM is immune to any prosecution by any government on this planet. They can take, do whatever they want. They can never be held accountable for it. And if you think for one second you're going to pledge your nation's assets and then pull that back when you find out it's been fraudulently given to a bunch of banksters, forget about it because further in Article 32 it spells it out. Any property that is acquired by the ESM under this uh, agreement is then forever theirs. Will never be taken back. No court in the land 
in the in the nation of Europe or the international community uh, or in the continent of Europe rather or the international community will ever have the ability to seize back that which they gave the European stability mechanism. It isn't going to stop with the ESM. It didn't stop with TARP. We will be led into a crisis, a crisis of reality. And at the end of that, we will be offered a solution. The solution is indentured servitude to every man, woman, and child on this planet. If we don't understand that and we don't stand and demand an end to it right now, demand an end to the central bankster control of this planet right here and right now, we will end up being nothing more than debt slaves to the uber elite class, the political and financial elite class that claim they have your best interest at heart. They do not. They do not have our best interest at heart. They want to use us and dispose of us as uh, nothing more than profit centers. Stories are attached. That's all I got.